Talk to you today about thin slicing. This comes from Peter Hall's book, Building Thinking Classrooms. If you're just getting started with the book, this is one of the ways that he um, approaches instructional tasks. It is a great strategy if you have a particular skill that you want your students to um, develop and it's a hard concept. So for example, my students are working on dividing decimals and what I've done is I've arranged a series of questions that increase in cognitive demand. So it has a very low floor, builds on their prior knowledge, and then increases in complexity. And that's why the strategy is called thin slicing because we're gonna slice up this, the complexity of our tasks so that students can work collaboratively. And just remember, in your groups of three, one pen, students are coming up to the board as a recorder. They're re writing down what their other partners in their group um, is telling them to do, and then they rotate that pen. So it's a great way to differentiate instruction because students can move 